Sometimes all we need is a reset. A new beginning, fresh start, a transformed perspective. Do you remember those pictures that used to make their way around from time to time and looked pretty obvious at first glance, right? But if you really examined it, you would see that the picture of the young woman or whatever it was, was also an older woman, right? Differing based on how you looked at the lines. And depending on who was looking, they might have a proclivity towards seeing one or the other. But when made aware of the picture's duality, they could always see both. Okay, and there's something to this. This idea is something we should lean on because I'll tell you what, Sometimes our natural proclivity is to see the thing that's not helpful. The first thing we see is, is an excuse or self-pity. The first thing we see is a list of insecurities or doubts. And we have to remember to take a step back and look again, to examine harder. Because it's amazing how differently things evolve when you make a point to see their value. For example, let's say someone has something you want, something you wished was yours. And it may be your default is, you know, you are less than. Your life is not what it should be. But if you step back and looked again, you would see a few things. One, we're all running different races. Right? You're competing against you, not anyone else. Two, think about everything you do have that someone else would give anything for. And three, if you truly do want that thing, how about applauding yourself for having goals, for having desires, for wanting to push the boundaries of life? Now the question is, can you seek to truly understand what that desire is and map out you know, your path to, to bring it into existence? This is nothing but an opportunity, right? And how could it be anything else? Life's challenges, life's losses, they are wins. They contain within them the DNA to create change, to progress. But one must be able to move beyond the instinct to label it a problem or a net negative. There are and will always be wins where you choose to see wins. As I've heard Tony Robbins uh, mention on many occasions, this isn't closing your eyes and saying, there are no weeds, there are no weeds, there are no weeds when your garden is full of them. No, it's understanding a simple truth. You'll never leverage value that you don't believe is there. Seeing it is always step one because it gives you a foundation to stand on as you build. It's picking up the pen and starting that next chapter. It's choosing your worldview. If you lose money, how would one react to, I can't believe it's gone, things will never be the same, my life is over, versus, okay, obviously I learned how to acquire it in the first place, time to do it again, I'm wiser, I'm more aware, and life is abundant. The person that wakes up thinking the former would probably have a hard time getting out of bed. The person telling herself the second story would be motivated to go make things happen. Her worldview has incentivized her. That's why thoughts become things. How we think directly translates into how we act. And our daily actions become our reality. Look, we've all found ourselves in situations where we struggle to see the good in things, where life knocks us down and the opportunity seems to hide itself. But that's exactly what it's doing, hiding itself. It is there. It's always there. It's there when you've lost something. It's there when you've taken a wrong turn. You get the point. And I'm going to differentiate here between simple and easy. Because the idea of stopping and forcing yourself to find the positive, it's simple. But it's not easy. It's oftentimes not the natural thing to do. But if you can ask that of yourself, you will find the wins that others walk right by. 
You'll be the change you want in yourself because the outside world will act as the toolbox to make that happen. Remember, we often can't control what the world gives us, but we can always control what we do about it. And that ability is what I believe separates human beings and their level of growth, success, and achievement. Right? Next time you find yourself down and out, sure, do your thing, handle it how you must, but don't forget that golden rule. It's not what you look at, it's what you see. And when you examine the world around you, point to one, however small value add that will pick you up, get you back on your feet and move you forward to that more ideal reality. There's a saying that just because you've spent a long time making a mistake doesn't mean you need to continue making it. There's an incredible advantage in life for those who can separate past and future, who can recognize sunk costs and walk away, walk away from the past, move on to new things. But here's the challenge, right? Like so many things, our instinct is to preserve. It's, yeah, but I've invested so many years. I've spent X amount of dollars and maybe I don't like where I'm at, but look how long it's taken me to get here. Well, here's the reality, that time is gone. That money is not coming back no matter what you do or what direction you take from here on out. There's no reason to think you have to maintain the same trajectory or hold on to a specific identity or pattern of behavior. Yesterday isn't the focal point here. The goal is simpler. What matters now and how will you get there now? You've grown, you've evolved, you've changed and your targets have shifted. So why shouldn't you? The idea of sunk costs is so important because it's essentially realizing that you're not indebted to the resources you've spent or exhausted. There's no need to be a slave to previous decisions that you've made. No, just chalk it up as an integral step in your learning process, an aspect of growth, and move forward to what matters, to what you care about. Now, if that seems obvious, I challenge you to think about the decisions you've made over the last year and I guarantee you, you've let factors affect your decision making that are irrelevant to your goals. Because we feel this camaraderie with yesterday, like there's a debt to be paid, but man, life is too short to run in place. If it's not pushing you forward, drop it. If it's not what you need, forget it. In other words, don't be one of those people that wakes up and makes the same mistake every single day because you've spent a long time making it. See, reality only exists in your head and that's why it's beautiful. You can unlock the cell door and walk out. Don't lose sight of the greatest gift you have. The new beginning that lives in every second where you can take a turn you've never taken before, remove the mask and play a role you've never 